Yo! Welcome everybody to another edition of Coach Eckstein. Today we got something a little different as we see all of these players. What? Uh, this is definitely Highlander. And uh, on Freight here, so a little bit of a change of pace, but Freight is a fantastic match and actually holds up very well under uh, Highlander gameplay settings. We are doing the coaching here for the blue team. EVGA gaming community were the ones who sent this in, so let's watch and see how they do on this first middle here. Um, you know, really put good pressure on uh, the point, but uh, as we can see on the left-hand side, keep an eye on the left-hand side. Really, um, nobody watching over there. Nobody watching over there. The uh, spy creep back there, the uh, scout's coming in right now, and um, scout playing like four or five shots and this heavy, not quite able to put him down. Finally does, though. And uh, he's got the candy cane, so that little health pack drops. And uh, Kritzkrieg uh, Soldier coming in now, finally, which is a great tactic. But as you can see, the uh, dead body of the down man, dead body of the heavy over there, not able to put that Kritzkrieg really into full effect. Engineer has a couple of uh, crit uh, shotguns, kind of fun. And uh, red team is Olive Garden. Uh, fantastic team name. Um, although I gotta say, I really dislike Olive Garden. Um, you know, I am a food person, and I have to say, when I was a younger man, there was a lady I was interested in, we started talking about food, and she was like, I love Italian food. Olive Garden is my favorite restaurant. I was like, mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so blue team's uh, trying to form up here and get their defense going. Um, they have the Chris Creek still, um, which I guess... Um, I guess the medics survived and backed away with it. It's a perfect right to have the crits creep. They have the charge up now. Um, and uh, so many players, it's a little harder for me to keep track whether the medic was up or down. But certainly, if you have the crits creep, pretty much always want to use it as soon as you get it, no matter what the circumstances are. Because if the other team has Uber, I mean, you can pressure them to pop and then use it after their Uber fades. Um, or you can pop into them, force the Uber, back up, charge another one. So pretty much always you want to use the Kutzkrieg as soon as you get it. That was a great shot right there. Oh, there it is! 4K uh, for um, a tie. Sorry, I wasn't sure if that was a Y and a V or two Ys. Now the Uber coming off in front of uh, the blue team. So definitely after that Kutzkrieg, you always got to be careful because um, your opponent, you know, either just use the Uber or they have the Uber. But it looks like uh, just so many players on you know, Highlander, uh, that Uber really not able to just stop Blue Team from uh, running back in the red team here. They need to keep the pressure up. Um, his medic, Blue Medic is, ooh, almost uh, takes that rocket right there. Really, um, you know, protecting the medic is what it's all about. Oh, you cannot, oh, he gets two? Oh, that is embarrassing. I mean, the heavy was one thing. Uh, you know, he just shouldn't have risked it and tried to run in front of the train. But that engineer just did not see it coming. Um, and uh, definitely there are all the multiple vari uh, variations of freight. Um, this is the official freight, uh, I believe. Oh, headshotted. Um, looks like the, the sniper worked on that angle back there uh, very effectively. And, um, yeah, the different versions of freight. This one has got um, this back area is quite a bit different. Um, but it's it's cool. Um, I like how um, this left hand side is. Um, it's a little bit more segregated from the other freight. And I think people just need to get used to this one and we should just settle on it. It's still a little messed up, but um, I mean, come on. There's just too many versions of freight out there. Uh, so, uh, Red Team just set up with the Gunslinger. So, this should be uh, too hard of a nut to crack. Um, looks like we are back on, uh, oh wait, no, that is, uh, still the Kritzkrieg, so, um, He's to scan. that's an okay decision, though, you know, to stay with the Kritzkrieg, um, you know, I don't, I don't know, you might want to switch it up since it's kind of a down period, um, and, uh, you know, the other team is on Uber, uh, but, um, you know, you should have good chances coming in here again. Looks like, uh, Grissini, the, the spy, is, uh, tearing up the blue team somewhere, so, um, you know, that's the thing is you guys had the crits Krieg and you weren't being super aggressive with it or, you know, pushing forward into a position to use it. Um, and especially with Highlander with the spies always out there, you know, you just have to be super careful about the spies. Um, you know, it's not 6v6. It's also not a pub server where it's uh, totally more crowded. 
Um, you know, uh, nine on nine is just a little bit smaller than you often see in the pub games, and you don't have all the players spy checking. Um, so I don't know, the spies are just constantly coming at you. Um, even though there's just one of them, you just always know he's going to be coming at you. So good heavy work here. Uh, Red team looks like they overextended or uh, also didn't extend enough. Uh, you know, actually have enough players out, you know, in front. Um, that's definitely, you know, a concept that's present in 66 play, although um, it's a little bit more, you know, the number game is a little bit different. So, you know, you can do more work with three players. You know, in a Highlander game, if you're going to push out, you need to bring, like, six players with you, um, you know, because you're going to be pushing into, you know, you get three kills, you're still going to be pushing into six players. So you really need to push together uh, as a team. Looks like the demo man for blue team going down a little bit, and uh, they're three players down. Should probably just kind of, yeah, they're even getting back capped. Um, but they have a, at least a de decent uh, force here holding the doors. <coughs> we'll see how far they fall back and uh, what red team can do here. Looks like that scout is doing some good work, really working the flanks and the geometry of this map well. See if he gets underwater. Uh, I don't know, but he uh, still escaped four health. Wow, nice work, blue. Medic has not tapped him up, and uh, Scott still hasn't even gotten the health, point, uh, health pack. So, um, red team has formed up pretty well. Um, blue team, yeah, you should have just kind of stayed together instead of trying to stop them before they actually had time on the cap. Um, because if they're not actually capping, then, you know, it's still your point. You don't need to attack into them. You can kind of just uh, hang back and, um, you know, let your sniper do the work. Let your long distance damage do the work. Let your spy get into position. Looks like spy got uh, Spinachi, who is the uh, red soldier, and uh, still creeping away pretty good. Is the spy? Um, he could just uh, revolver this engineer down. Goes over to Sapa. Um, yeah, the pyro coming back up. But blue team is working well to recapture the point. Um, your medic is back by the health po uh, health cap. Uh, excuse me, health pack. Excuse me. And it uh, looks like red uh, red team actually had a player drop. Not the game stop it, stopping moment that it is in a 6v6, but still unfortunate for them. So now blue team has captured the point, and like I said before, they're just kind of hanging back. Critzkrieg is aggressive here, and it um, uh, looks like it's working out pretty well for him, especially with the flank of the demo man. So uh, blue team is, is playing pretty well here. Good stickies by the demo man, but the uh, pyro getting the uh, reflected rocket. Good kill there, and now pressuring forward with his heavy, um, and uh, going to be capturing the point here. Oh, spy coming in, but from behind. No, oh, nobody's onto him yet. Oh man, that medic was so lucky to be able to escape from all of those swipes there. And uh, we can see uh, switching over to the defensive perspective. We can see the demo man doing a good job, um, rocking from the uh, right hand side there. But uh, again, maybe getting far, a little, a little too far forward. Um, it's uh, taken out. So just noticing the names don't totally match up here. A little weird. I definitely need to reload the HUD. And uh, crit screen coming out again, and uh, good timing on that one because uh, you know you gotta be super aggressive with it and um, use it before the uh, medic can get his Uber. And um, you know now that. Uh, they're going to have their uber. You definitely know that you just need to back up. They've gotten good kills, though, as they're falling backwards here. Um, and, uh, you know, I'd say you can basically just let the red team capture this. Obviously, these players still fighting. Actually, in really good position. There goes the uber. Um, so, definitely, yeah, <laughs> not backing up all the way. Getting gunned down viciously. And uh, blue team taking too many deaths there. Definitely, without a doubt, taking too many deaths. Uh, perhaps a, a little bit of miscommunication. Um... You know, not really saying that the red team's pushing out of the door, not really calling that, because uh, it seemed like the soldier, the demo man, and the heavy got caught out of position. They lost the second point, and they would have had a fantastic opportunity to aggressively push in. Uh, the medic, forgetting how the map works for a second there, trying to back into spawn. Yeah. Um, I actually was going to make a joke about this isn't well. But actually, they patched that, at least in the uh, beta version of TF2. And uh, I think that's really a game-changing patch to, um, to Well, and actually could speed up Well quite a bit, because uh, defending the second point from the third point would be a heck of a lot harder. Um, 
probably does need some tuning in there, and that's why it is in the uh, beta. Um, but obviously, yeah, right there, the uh, medic could not back into that spawn point and uh, got captured. So, or got uh, cornered, cornered, cornered and killed. <clears throat> in the meantime, watch out for that train. Let the blue team do it good. Let's get that HUD reload here. Looks like um, <clears throat> uh, red team is back up to nine players. Not really sure when that happened, but good use of the Uber here. And um, pretty sure blue team is still on Kritzkrieg. Got to get the players in position right now. They're really using it on the soldier. There it is, but oh, not quite know where to go with that crit screen. Wasted about half of it. Finally gets the uh, heavy, but the um, you know really not good positioning on that crit screen. Really, I know. Um, I, I think the soldier was worried about the Uber, but while red team pushes forward, let's do a little geometry here. You know, the the red team was over here, and the thing with the crit screen is your medic has no protection whatsoever. Um, you know, he's not invulnerable. It's totally different from Uber. And the soldier circled around here, which not only could he not see anybody, but as he got further this direction, the medic was standing right here, which is totally exposed and nowhere to go. People are just totally able to jump on him. If the medic was standing here with that Kritzkrieg, then, um, you know, you could always just back up here, back across the bridge, and you have a huge escape route where... Uh, you know, people that are at the point can't attack you and, and you're backing up. Of course, your back is exposed, but your team should be watching your back. So, um, anyways, let's go catch up with the action. Uh, that's definitely a small thing. That was a misstep with that Kritzkrieg. Um, soldiers, you know, should have pushed in through the small doorway with that Kritzkrieg as soon as that Uber faded. Um, and uh, I think their timing was a little off and, and he was too close to the Uber, and that's why he decided to go for the flank route. Um, yeah, oh well. But uh, look, Chris Krieg again here, and uh, forces the Uber. Uh, now they gotta just back up, back up, back up, hold the defense, and they'll have um, no. The medic goes down. So, you know, you got you guys dropped your medic. Um, I mean, you're getting good kills. Uh, otherwise, um, yeah, can't. You're not gonna be able to push out though. So, uh, blue team definitely gonna have to hang back. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was a pretty good uh, crits creek, and actually, as the medic has spawned, he's not healing anybody yet. Um, He's actually missed like a good five seconds of healing. Um, but, oh, oh, crucial backstab there. And gets the dispenser. Where is? Where are you, engineer? Oh, Homewrecker. Homewrecker is so clutch. Um, and uh, Highlander, man. Um, you know, Axe Extinguisher is awesome. Um, undeniably so. But, um, you know, in that sort of situation, um, you know, you have a level three dispenser. Uh, spy backstabs the engineer, gets a dispenser, uh, gets a sapper on the dispenser. That's really a big blow to your team. So if the pyro can come in there and uh, knock it off with the home wrecker, that's uh, that's really a really fantastic play. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, you know, axe extinguisher is great. So maybe run axe extinguisher on middle, switch over. But you know, home wrecker, fantastic. Oh, spy to spy showdown. That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> so, um, he's going to back up. Soldier coming up to support the Red Spy here, so good uh, coordination play. Definitely called that out. It gets spotted by the Pyro, though, so um, definitely on top of that. Uh, let's call in there. Heavy gets uh, puffed on fire just a little bit. Oops, excuse me. And uh, Blue Team, definitely, you know, with that Chris Craig, I, I think you have to play uh, back a little farther on this point. Um... You know, either get your Kritzkrieg up over here where you can charge your Kritzkrieg and then storm the point uh, to stop it or retake it. Um, but if you are if you have Kritzkrieg and you're standing right here, like, you know, what are you going to do when they run in? Um, you know, you, you have to be able to escape with that Kritzkrieg quickly. Uh, the medic should at least be, like, back here, you know, but uh, you don't have the Uber to protect any of your players. Your opponent comes in with the Uber. Uh, they're going to do a lot of damage to you. So... Um, now, uh, yeah, they're starting to work in. I like the group of players you got here. You got a very good swarm. Um, not the quickest attack route. Looks like the call was made to pop the crits. Getting, oh, knocked around by that pyro. Uh, fantastic stuff from the pyro. Um, you know, the counter to that um, is to switch out your shotgun because a uh, critical shotgun uh, is pretty brutal. If you see, you know, the pyro sees your glowing rocket launcher. Um, what do, you, what do you think he's going to do? He's going to try to reflect your crit rocket right back in your face. I mean, like, simple as that. He sees the big glowing rocket launcher. He's going to go for the reflect. 
Um, and a critical shotgun does a ton of damage, so uh, you know you should just whip out the shotgun, and then if he tries to play with you, you can always switch over to the rocket launcher again. Um, of course, you can still re reflect the rocket in your face. Oh! Great dodge on the train, and the scout gets taken out. Perfect train there. Red Medic takes a lot of damage, is going to back out. Smart decision. Uh, you know, you want to try and push in before the Medic gets the Crits Creek. If they can kill the Blue Medic here, then they can just hold back and push in with Uber. Um, looks like the Medic does go down, so uh, Red Team, if Olive Garden is the well-run organization that a corporate restaurant is, um, or should be, rather, they're just going to hold back here and build Uber and then push in and crush the Blue Team. Not much you can do about that. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and they're just keeping the pressure on you guys. So uh, that's a that's a tough defense right there. Uh, good good train though again. Oh, but it's a, it's a flat train. So uh, heavy and pyro could jump over the point here. Uh, gunslinger behind the point. Um, looks like it's getting some shots in there. Oh, that little window. Excuse me, couldn't see it from the high angle I had there. That it's really a fantastic position for the gunslinger. Uh, but risotto the pyro. Um, you know, uh, putting people on fire and uh, stirring the pot with his axe extinguisher. You gotta keep stirring the pot when you make risotto. Quick tip. <clears throat> this is Coach Eckstein after all. So, um, uh, red soldiers uh, coming in. Um, you know, blue team actually able to hold that uh, pretty well, and this is still a 0-0 game. So, you know, Freight is a, is a tough map, um, you know, but I think it has been an exciting back and forth, and uh, I think, you know, you can pinpoint the, uh, the parts where the different teams have gone around or have excelled here. Blue team switching up to Uber, so fantastic um, decision there. I mean, uh, definitely you're, you're defending last. Um, you know, the only way to get the crits Creek is to get crazy offensive with it. And uh, uh, Chop Suey getting uh, chopped up with that extinguisher in the corner um, as uh, the Uber faded. Red team pushed in aggressively right after the fact. And that's the thing with the Uber is um, you know you have to pay very uh, close attention to uh, what's what's going to happen after the Uber's done. You know, um, so, you know if you're a team and you're thinking about your strategy. Those are the, the two questions. They really need to cap this point, by the way. Um, I'm really surprised they've not done it yet. Uh, I can't stress how important it is to get quick captures, especially in Highlander, because look at how many red players are already here. Um, and uh, this is the forward spawn room that if you have control of the second point, uh, or the, the fourth point, depending on which direction you're going, um, if you have control of that point, you spawn there. So, um, you know, if you are slow at capturing that point, um, and more players from the red team spawn because in that forward position because you do not have control of that point they're going to have a definitely a higher percentage uh, chance of overtaking that point uh, or retaking it, retaking it. <clears throat> and uh you know thinking of uh, the, the points and uh, even the, even the ubers in the sense of like retaking position uh, is very important you know that's a bit of a, a counter-strike concept where you know the terrorists take the, the the point where you're going to bomb, and then you retake the point uh, to defuse the bomb. Uh, good Uber here. Uh, the heavy is quite slow though. You know if you had a soldier here, they could do a rocket jump and uh, get further forward. Uh, but the uh, red team, you know, got a good retreat, and I, I lost where their medic went. I think maybe he's yeah, actually he did do a, a very good flank here, and a very good counterattack by red team here. The uh, spy is going to have to get something done as soon as the Uber fades. But, um, you know, I think the medic is on to him. Wow. I thought the medic was on to him, but maybe he just didn't want to switch Uber off of the heavy. Blue team cleaning up, and um, the scout and his uh, teammates could get, you know, could push forward here and retake the point. You know, you really got to keep your eye on the scoreboard anytime you're playing and um, see how many players are up. Uh, of course, I'm running um, uh, the community HUD. Um, you know, I, I, I can't even, uh, I'll, I'll include the download link, um, to that as well as to, oh, another train kill. Um, <clears throat> I will, um, download, uh, sorry, I will post the download link for that community HUD. I usually just Google it, community TF2 HUD, anytime I need that, community TF2 HUD. Google that, you can find it. And, um, I have a custom, uh, scoreboard on the left-hand side, um, that I threw together for Highlander. So uh, I'll include that file as well. And um, 
uh, basically just uh, install the community HUD and then replace the uh, spectator tournament with my Highlander file and uh, that's how you get this HUD. <clears throat> uh, I uh, might be using the 99 scoreboard too. So, um, But you know, either way, uh, just staring at the scoreboard and seeing how many players are down, just real quick, you know, pull it up, see how many people are dead. Ooh, great, uh, switch back to the crits creek here. Force the Uber, and here's the thing, and it looks like they're doing a good job of it. Um, well, actually, the medic doesn't have anybody to heal, and then is going for the back cap. But yeah, great stuff from the uh, demo man here. So actually, fantastic play once again from the blue team. Uh, medic falls back to hook up with his demo man. They should be uh, pushing forward to uh, try to support this uh, capture. But then again, um, uh, too many players up already. So, uh, you know, that is one downside of Highlander is... Uh, the, the switches in momentum are, are so quick that sometimes you don't have the opportunity to fully uh, punish the enemy team, uh, you know, and, and retake the point or capture last or, or whatever. Um, but uh, I definitely think, you know, we've seen some good coordinated pushes from both teams. And uh, when those pushes have come in, uh, they've worked very well. Um, but, uh, you know, freight is very difficult uh, to capture last. Um, you know, I mean, especially in these circumstances, it, it's kind of a, a grinding, grinding push in. But um, I, I think it's a, a fantastic map, and uh, I think this Highlander play on it is uh, is really interesting. You know, it's it, it's cap definitely you know showcasing the spirit of six v six, but because the map is a little bit more uh, crowded, um, you know, uh, it's just a little bit more difficult to capture last than some of the other. <laughs> Oh. Wow, this train is crushing. Um, it's absolutely crushing. It's got more points uh, than both teams combined. Um, looks like the server map time has eight minutes left. Uh, we'll see if if the train just wins here uh, or if either one of these teams is actually going to uh, pull out the last five capture point. Um, you know, so um, that's just one of the difficulties with um, this this game uh, as an eSport uh, and the different formats that people like to play is uh, sometimes the different maps you know just turn out really different uh, with freight I mean it's already difficult to capture the last point um, you know but the spawn timers are something that you can tune uh, that really changes the way that the game plays out and uh, this Highlander freight has been very interesting like I'm like I said but uh, the teams have had a, a really rough time uh, capturing the last point because the players just respawn too quick you know if you always have at least five players defending, you know, it's tough to get on the point and capture it with, you know, five players defending. It's just so close to your spawn room. Um, you know, and that you still have to defend your point at the same time that you're pushing in. But, you know, if, if you get big kills and then you can push out um, and the defenders take longer to respawn, you know, you're able to, to get, your, uh, get your capture more likely. Anyways, kind of rambling about that. Uh, we have about uh, seven minutes on this uh, map time left. I don't know if this is going to go to Golden Cap. If it does, we'll probably just call it good right here. Um, you know, attacking last is uh, something that we haven't seen too many opportunities. The Crits Creek has been really good here, but um, wow, there's the backstab, the medic going down as well, and in, in that circumstance, um, you know, just uh, really. Uh, did not work out for him. Um, and it looks like red team is pushing in hard here. It looks like red team should be able to actually capture this point quickly. And if they keep players forward, send players forward, but capture it quickly, like I'm saying, uh, like I was saying before too. Ah, uh, because here's the deal: if um, sometimes uh, when you capture the second point, you can actually push people's spawn timers backwards. So if they had captured that that point just a second earlier, a half a second earlier. Uh, they could have pushed back the spawns of like four of those players, but look at this. I mean like they capture the point and already we we have like the whole blue team up. If this was 6v6, um, if this was 6v6, you'd clear off the second point, kill the medic, take him out like they did, and then they'd pretty much be able to put in a solid good uh, push on the last point with an advantage. As it is right now, they have the charge advantage just barely. But again, it's going to be Crits Creek versus Uber. Look at this. Uber comes in. He's he's trying to hold on to it, which is good. Now he's popped it, but still, the Uber faded. Um, you know, it, the the Crits. He held on to it, but you could have held on to it longer, man. Because uh, you you were holding on to it, you know, and it's 
it's like the thought process you know think about um this is just like a general kind of esports tip you know and just i don't know it's an athlete tip to be in the moment think about what you were doing um you were you know what the medic was doing in that situation you were holding on to the crits krieg because they had um uber and, and you wanted to use the crits krieg as soon as that uber faded and then all of a sudden you know the situation got worse and you 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 saw the uber head uh uber soldier in your face and you popped crits krieg um, but, you know, you were holding on to the crit screen because you didn't want to use it against the Uber. So, you know, you should have just held on to it. Even if you died, you should have just held on to it. Um, but now this is a fantastic... There's the crit shotgun! Oh, there it is! Man, it's like you were listening to my, my commentary and my coaching. It was like I was in your, in your head. Um, that was, uh, that was, uh, the crit shotgun. That's what needed to happen earlier. Oh, let's speed over there. Oh, the back cap! Back cap. Oh, gonna be the undoing. Fantastic stuff from the spy. Um, and uh, that's what the spy is capable of doing. Um, you know, it's so important. Um, you can't can't forget about those back caps. But that crits Krieging was, was very good. I mean, I was talking about that previous situation where you shouldn't have panicked with the crits Krieg and popped it once you saw that other, the, the, the uber soldier in your face. Should have held on to it just a little bit longer, but you know, still didn't work out for you. You survived. You got away, and then you used the Chris Creek before they could get Uber, and that is, is is what you have to do with Chris Creek. I mean, especially if you're using it on defense, which um, which you would. <laughs> um, but now let's. Uh, oh, you went down. Um, the the medic. Um, who I was talking directly there. Um, the spy coming in again. Uh, Heavy's got to watch. Oh, he doesn't care about your 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 Razorback. He's gonna just uh, revolver you down. Oh, it, yeah, there it is. Wow. Uh, you guys are getting the blue team is getting torn up by that spy. Um, that's that's the story of that defense. I mean, your medic went down early, um, which um, I'm, I'm sorry I I missed that when I was doing the commentary. But uh, you can look at the video, see if there's anything in my video that uh, is insightful there, <coughs> and and how the medic got killed. But uh, yeah, after the medic went down, you know you didn't keep an eye out on that spy. Took out the heavy, took out the sniper. You know those are your covering classes um and um you know it was just all downhill from that spike and too much too many kills there uh great attack by the red team here oh <laughs> perfect perfectly timed backstab as the equalizer was out um red team is pushing in good i like this attack they do not have uber though but they're trying to get in and kill the medic before he gets crits creek uh or just you know keep the pressure up great dodging from the demo man uh but unfortunately the spy and the scout getting in there so uh, you know, perhaps a little too aggressive from red team, just in the sense that, you know, that attack failed, but you've got to take risks. I mean, look where they are now. They have a soldier on the point. They have a heavy who's got full health. They have a pyro. Uh, blue team has their crits, Greg. Yeah. Oh, did he reflect that? Um, I think he might have. And the, the, uh, explosion was a little, uh, messed up. Um, but, um, yeah, so, a uh, good crits, Greg counter push. Um, you know, red team definitely, um, because of that Chris Creek being charged up, uh, that's why you had to be careful. They're coming in again with it. Uh, red team's probably going to have the Uber uh, matched up timing wise with the Chris Creek, uh, unless, of course, this demo man gets the medic but not able to land his pipes. Gotta work on your plumbing skills, bro. And, uh, but uh, this has uh, been a fantastic counter push by a uh, uh, blue team. And uh, somebody's got to go back for that back cap. Uh, looks like somebody has gone back for it. Taco Master defended the blue warehouse. And um, the rest of the team, uh, you know, being uh, cognizant and uh, pushing forward, getting on top of the point, and not running backwards because a single spy is trying to capture your point. Um, so now they're uh, working the left-hand flank. They have the crits, Craig. Um, there's the stickies. And uh, it's, uh, it's one player, Fragioli was the engineer. Oh, and takes out the heavy, so that's helpful. But, um, the medic is getting away, but because I think he just used the uber, great sandwich there uh, for the medic. Sandwich is, sandwiches are powerful, let me tell you. Uh, they are really an awesome, awesome uh, beat, a bit of cuisine. So, uh, blue team is pushing the tempo here. Look at this, they got 25 seconds left. Scout going for the last point. Gets on it, Pyro is there. This is really actually an exciting finish. And um, uh, blue team though, 
uh, perhaps a little too aggressive, um, you know, just in that last 10 seconds. Um, you know, we saw the scout go out there and die. Um, don't know what happened to the rest of the offensive push. Hey, so uh, just some uh, final thoughts on the last little bit of that Highlander Freight match. Um, it's uh, really important uh, to the end of games, um, you know, in those clutch situations where you actually, you know, take a second and, and realize, you know, okay, we have 20 seconds left. Attacking this last point is going to take like, you know, five seconds to actually cap it. Um, we could take another five seconds before we go in there, you know, and actually get your attack together. You, you can't panic in big moments like that where, um, you know, you, you get so psyched up about like, oh, we, we only have this little bit of moment left. Like, ah, you know, you only need like a, a small chunk of that sec of, of the time left to like actually do the winning motion, you know, to actually go through the motions of, of winning the game, of taking the game away from your opponent. And, um, you, you have extra time there. So, you know, form up with your medic, you know, buffs are so important. Uh, attacking together is so important. We saw the scout just like run in there and, um, you know, die by himself. He put up a good chance, but a scout versus three players. Would you rather have a scout versus three players or the scout stay back and make a last second push with, with three of his players against five players, you know, one versus three or four versus five, like which one are you going to pick? Four versus five. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this. Uh, I enjoyed watching it. I mean, that was like a tense match. And then red team finally pulled it together and won. And um, I mean, you know, blue team only lost because of the spy cap. But obviously, you know, if blue team had captured the, a point somewhere in there, um, it would have been a different game. And, um, you know, attacking last is tough uh, with all the Highlander spawns. So I think you just have to be really slow and methodical about it. You know, get your teleporter up there. You know, don't be afraid to camp at the second point for a while and, like, make a wall, you know, and then just send in your spy. Send in your sniper, you know, like, just just hang back and just chill. Like, wait for your opponents to make a mistake. Don't just be like, okay, guys, we have Uber and they have Uber. Let's push in and attack and, and do a sloppy push. Don't do that. So... Um, shout out to those guys for um, sending in the clip. And who are those guys? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, EVGA. <laughs> um, I got this t-shirt at uh, PDX Land 16.5. And uh, those guys, uh, EVGA supports that land. Um, so big shout out to those guys. We're super excited. Uh, we being the XTV crew, we're super excited for PDX Land 17. I think there's actually like 30 tickets still on sale. Um, table 16 is where we are see, uh, seated. Um, it's going to be myself, uh, Dionysus, and uh, Bumpasaurus X once again. We tried to get some other uh, real-life friends of mine out, uh, but unfortunately, uh, one of them got called away for work. So big shout-out to my homeboy, Will Fargo. Um, hopefully, um, hopefully uh, um, you guys will see him uh, with the StarCraft videos and stuff. That we're going to get back to, um, you know, XTV Esports, we're just... We're just growing all over the place, and um, our StarCraft stuff's going to be awesome, but obviously we got a, a ton of great te Team Fortress coverage in the works. So again, th uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you, time. Uh, see you next time. Peace out.